I became a father when I was 24 years old, going on 25. I was really, really young. I was really young. I think I was really ready to do that. And before then, I had no fixed sense of identity. I didn't really have anything that I felt particularly good at. My dad was like in the Black Panther Party, you know, gone off to Vietnam. He had done well. And what was I doing? I was, you know, this kid who had gone off to college, you know, fucking up, college dropout. Had never done anything. And one of the cool things about being a father is it just required me to be a good person. <laughs> I just had to be a decent dude. So my right was a chance to take on something. A real challenge, a real battle to be fought that if I could have, you know, this boy and, um, and again, you know, I, like, I, I have to maintain, you know, it's not that, you know, uh, the girls I knew at the time did not face, an, you know, an array of challenges. They did. But for me, in terms of where I was, you know, the boys didn't end up pregnant. I mean, they died. You know what I mean? They got killed. They went to jail, you know? Um, they were, you know, removed from society. You know, like, my earliest memories are of my dad taking me into what was then called Baltimore Penitentiary. And we would go see uh, my dad's buddies who had been in the Panther Party with him, who were locked up. And so, like, you know, like this is the kind of input that I'm getting right off the bat. Seeing that, that just, you know, struck me a particular way. And I think, like, Samari very much was a part of, like, my desire, at least in this one particular case, to do it right. The actual presence of the kid kept me from doing a lot of things that I think would have hurt the writing and hurt me. I couldn't go out as much. There was, you know, somebody who I had to be responsible to. It grounded me, man. I mean, it really just forced me to, you know, be at home. It put my butt in a seat. And ultimately, it really contributed to my, my blossoming as a writer. You know, because that's really what you need. You know, you need to be away from things, you know. There was a kind of constancy and predictability to parenthood um, that I think really allowed me to work. And it also raised the stakes because it was like, it's not just you who's at stake here. And that put a kind of pressure on me that I think was really, really good.